I have a full walkthrough of this latest camera from Xiaomi, the C400. It's a complete review of this new IP security camera. Go to the link above or in the description to watch the video. This particular video is a shorter version, which is a tutorial on how to set up and pair the Xiaomi C400 camera. Your support for this channel motivates me to continue producing videos and reviewing products for our homes. Click the subscription button if you haven't yet. Also, watch my other videos on several IP security camera models that I have reviewed and installed at home. By the way, the Xiaomi C400 is priced at 2,900 pesos on Xiaomi Global Store. I earned a little discount and bought it at less than 2,800 pesos. The C400 has a big resemblance with the old 360 camera series of Xiaomi. It has a 2 meter cord but it has no USB charger or adapter so you need to buy one. The manual says here that we need a 5 volt 2 ampere uh, power supply for this. Xiaomi should have had included it in the package. Then the unit looks like the usual uh, Xiaomi 360 camera series. It has a head which is rotating and the base. The base is um, looks uh, sturdy, it's big. Still, the uh, micro SD card is found under the lens here. This camera can uh, support up to 256 gigabytes of micro SD card. That's the highest capacity that uh, so far a Xiaomi camera can support. So if you're going to uh, use a micro SD card here, you should use FAT32. Um, for uh, micro SD card, 64 gigabyte, gigabytes and above, you should uh, reformat it on the camera. For now, I'm going to use uh, a 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card temporarily. And you should not, uh, you should always turn off the camera when inserting and removing micro SD cards. Um, this is the indicator light and this is the microphone here we have, we have your speaker we have here the reset button and the uh, USB-C port then the base here for the mounting plate I'm turning this on the cord here is type C Power on. It's now powered on. You can see here orange. That's power on. It's rotating. Please use the mobile phone scan the QR code on the board and labor it. And the configuration interface. That's blinking, that means um, it's searching for uh, a network. Okay, so that is waiting for us to be to be not connected. We'll have to go to the app first. And it's, this is the first time for a Xiaomi camera that has a voice from both in English and in Chinese. Okay, I'm opening now the Xiaomi uh, or the Mi Home app. Then you can see there Plus has uh, an indicator that it discovers a, uh, a device, a new device. That means we have to open that and our device. Then it automatically uh, found the Xiaomi Smart Camera C400. Now you can choose actually the network. It's either 5G or 2.4 gigahertz. This is uh, similar to the uh, 
Xiaomi Camera 360 2K Pro that has uh, a dual uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. So we'll try the uh, 5 gigahertz. It's now connecting. And let us scan the QR code is at the bottom of the device. Okay. Okay. It says that the uh, connection has been successful. Um, I'll be putting this uh, initially at the front yard so that I could compare this with the um, Tapo C320WS, which is the only 4MP camera so far in my uh, home before I bought this C400. Then uh, I'll just name this as Xiaomi C400 to make it short. Next. Then uh, display large cards on the home page. Next. So it's done and I have to agree. It is similar to other Xiaomi cameras with surveillance, playback and storage management. Then we can also set the password for the camera. I am not putting a password for the camera. Then there's a three button menu here. If you press that, then you will open the settings. So let's try the camera settings. Um, status light. So that's basically turn on. Then data uses warning only play the videos automatically when Wi-Fi is connected. When you if you turn that on, then uh, the videos can only play when your phone or your app is connected with uh, Wi-Fi. Um, I am suggesting you should not turn that on because uh, there are times that you are outside or away from your home. If you set this to Wi-Fi only, then you cannot play while you are outside your home or you're away from home. Okay, so don't, do not turn that on. Uh, PTZ PT gesture, you should uh, enable that because uh, you need to uh, navigate the camera using the screen sometimes. There's step set settings here, uh, don't uh, adjust that. And there's image uh, settings, uh, it's just the same with other uh, Xiaomi camera. You can rotate the image once you put this on your ceiling, so you can just invert the uh, below, you can read here, rotate. Then, wide dynamic range mode, uh, you can turn that on. But the wide dynamic range won't work when you're in night vision mode, because uh, the WDR displays color image. And you will go to the night vision settings, full color with blue light. The setting will be uh, a full color image can still be achieved under poor lighting conditions. I suggest you should turn that on so that it will always be in uh, color unless uh, your uh, camera automatically switches to night vision. So you have the options below for the Unite Vision. It's either you switch automatically or you should always full on or full color function. Okay. Uh, I mean, if it's always on, then the full color function is not available because you are turning always the night vision. And also there's off. I suggest you should uh, select switch automatically. Okay. Then camera calibration, for the first time you're going to use your camera, then uh, you can uh, calibrate it. I'm not using gimbal, so just I try to uh, calibrate it. So it's calibrated already. Let's go back to the settings, camera settings. Then there's a human tracking. This camera is similar to the 2K Pro because it has human tracking okay you should turn that on the camera follows when a human is detected you should always turn that on 
Then pop-up window, um, you can see here, there's a pop-up window. So every time you push that, you select that, then you'll be uh, showing or it will show a inset or picture on, in picture video of the camera. Now this is the home page. Uh, let's try to check if, ah, okay. So the C400 is added. You can see here, it's added. So I have already four uh, Xiaomi cameras. The first one was Mi 360 camera, which is 1080p. Then next, I bought the uh, uh, Mi 2K Pro camera. Then the latest or the recent was the magnetic camera. And finally, this Xiaomi C400. For home monitoring, you have to turn that on. Then there's monitoring time, 24 hours. Okay, that's 24 hours. Partition sensitivity rate settings. I would suggest uh, to evaluate you for you to evaluate the, uh, the the environment if it needs low or high sensitivity. In my case, I'm planning to put this in the front yard, so I just put it in low because uh, there's so much traffic outside. <laughs> okay. Alarm interval um, it could be 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 5 minutes, 3 minutes. I think 5 minutes is so intrusive, so 10 minutes is okay. Then detection, uh, you can turn that on, then event notification type, there's motion detected and there's also person detected in surveilled area. Then next is manage storage, uh, it says here not enough storage, just anyway, that's uh, uh, the capacity is only 29 gig, okay. Then my recording here is always record. You can also uh, format the SD card here. So this is just temporary. I'll be buying a uh, much higher uh, capacity card. Then you have here Xiaomi Home Secure. This is a program of Xiaomi for subscription. If you want to add more uh, storage, then you can subscribe to it. It's a cloud storage service of Xiaomi. The cheapest is 140 pesos a month. That includes already the seven day event video history. So device name, C400 managed location, I already put that on the front yard. Share device, If you again, if you sh want to share this with your uh, uh, members of your household. Automation, you can add automation here. For example, it's add if the Mi C400 detects a human, then um, Control Hub will play designated ringtone. Okay, that's the sound. Then another is if the Mi C400 that takes emotion, then let's say this lamp will turn on and off firmware update is check if there's an update oh, it says here it's the latest help and feedback again as i'm saying uh, you can uh, uh, look for any uh, solution if there are problems there are questions here or there are uh, key points here that is listed most probably these are the common problems feedback by the users additional settings the this is for the uh, network connection and add to home screen if you want to add this to your home screen on your phone i'm not going to add that time zone this is very important so be sure that you are at plus eight that's our uh, location again this is the viewing page of the c400 if you tap the screen you can see there there's a power button if you tap that then the uh, camera will turn off then there's, there's also a speaker button here if you tap that it will create or open the sounds and tapping that again that is mute then 2.5k this is the quality of the video you can change that to auto or 480p uh, whichever you want to select but for 480p is not uh, good in quality so you choose 2.5 it's k 
Then there's the, there's the cursor here, okay? The cursor, uh, what we call is the joystick. Still Xiaomi employs dual motor for the pan and tilt movements of the C400 camera. If you want to know more about this latest camera from Xiaomi, please watch my previous video. Subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Thank you so much. I'm Jun Tariman, High Tech. Bye.